Hey everybody, uh, James here from James Plays Things, the videos you're watching. Um, <clears throat> this ended up being another hour-long episode um, somehow, so once again I'm going to cut it in half. Um, we're going to split it up into two separate episodes, um, so don't be surprised when it just kind of ends suddenly. Um, but I'll, I'll upload both of them at the same time, just splitting them apart to make it a little best, a little bit uh, less time spent, so they'll be about half an hour each. Um, yeah, cool. Roll that clip. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of... I would plug it had I the power. <laughs> okay, Jahira. Um, another episode of James hopefully beats Baldur's Gate, maybe for real this time. Um, last episode, we traveled to the Nashville Mines uh, in order to hopefully figure out what's going on with the uh, iron shortage um, in the mines, and we discovered that possibly it is due... Um, to kobolds, uh, ouch, hey, a trap, you need? I've got this. that seems unfair, uh, a trap, I'm gonna actually just reload, that was stupid, um, kobolds, uh, poisoning the, uh, iron <laughs> supply, I'm gone. um, but we don't, what, uh. what? We don't um, believe that kobolds are able to act on their own, and therefore uh, it, it is believed by myself and my party that um, there is some other sort of malevolent force at work here. Um, but so far, all that we've come across, so, uh, Jesus Christ, um, all that we've come across have been kobolds um, as of yet, so. Get them in the range of the spell. If Jahira ever stops casting. There we go. Give it to me straight. Jeez. Um, Cobalts don't uh, pose much of a threat to us. Um, We've mostly been able to take care of them without incident, um, which is nice. It's nice to, and I think most of our characters, uh, save uh, Nira, are up to uh, level two at this point, um, which is nice because it means that they're a little less squishy um, and a little bit more uh, resilient. Um, but I don't think we've really come across anything too uh, difficult. Even uh, hob like hobgoblins and, and stuff like that are pretty uh, pretty manageable at this point. Why are you getting so close to Give it to me straight. Don't worry about me. Ooh, that's interesting. What is it this time? What do you mean? I never find that uh, Tell me. wizard you spells mean, with um, uh -huh. a touch range to be particularly uh, useful just because what do you mean? you're hardly ever going to want your wizard actually close enough to touch anything. Tell me. Um, Don't worry about so me. I probably Give won't end up using that. But it's nice to have options. Yeah. Wizard touches the creature while the spell is in effect. An electrical charge. 1d8 points plus 1 per caster level to the creature. In addition, the grasp does 1d2 fist damage. Strength bonuses apply. Interesting. Wizard only has one charge, and once an opponent has been touched, the spell energies will be used. The wizard is wasted. Has one round per level to touch the creature. I mean, I guess if you were gonna do like a um, 
like a I dual class it. character, like a fighter mage, um, that might work. But but the chances of your mage being uh, survivable long enough to actually get up and make a touch attack and be able to safely move back are pretty slim. Um, the only place that I could really see it being useful is if um, Don't worry about me. you get like a creature coming up from behind you um, and like trying to target your caster, but uh, even in that situation you're probably more likely to try and move them out of the way of the creature and have them retarget on someone else than you would actually like try to have the caster deal Tell with me. the threat on their own. Um, let's see if we can bundle up some of these. No. Uh, oh, but we can. I think uh, Khalid has the gem pouch. We can save those things in that. Anyone else got some precious stones? No. Cool. Give it to me straight. You want it? Um, so, it. like, uh, there's like chill touch, uh, flaming hands can be useful s simply for um, dealing with trolls, um, which can only be killed by uh, fire or acid damage. Um, so, basically, like, once you deplete their health points, uh, it essentially like knocks them out, um, and then you have to deal the final uh, amount of damage with uh, either a uh, acid or a fire weapon. I mean, in that situation, you're pretty safe using your uh, wizard for flaming <clears throat> flaming hands because you know uh, they're not actually in a combat situation. Therefore, they're not at risk of um, being attacked. But uh, so, like flaming hands, uh, I think necromancy. Necromancer's Grasp or something like that, and then Shocking Grasp are all, like, touch range uh, wizard spells that I, I just never really find a, a use for. Um, I'm sure there are other ways to build wizards in this game um, and in, you know, d, &D games in general, uh, so they are a little bit more survivable. I guess you could probably, if you got some lucky stat rolls, um, if you wanted to play like a player character that was a wizard, you can try and get some like high constitution, high dexterity rolls, um, and that way they would have the bonus to their AC, um, and I think constitution will give them extra HP per level. But that might be different editions of D&D. Um, anyway, I'm sure there there are ways to build uh, mage tanks, but it's not as viable. I feel like. in this crate. I'm going to have so much money by the end of this and like nothing to spend it on. It's going to be great. Uh, can I help you? Uh, yes. I'm going to throw that in my gem pouch. That can go to our wizard friend the provision. Uh, which, yeah, probably not a spell that I would ever have in a, sp a prepared spell you list, but I, I guess could be useful. Um, I can, but try. If you didn't, I'm not exactly how uh, sure how it works in the context of this game specifically, um, because obviously it has to display whatever your characters can view, right? Because so that's how video games work. Um, I don't know if. Uh, it's just like a drop off into the bottom of the world. Um, I don't know if maybe like characters with infravision, like it only displays what the best character's vision is. Um, 
or how that works, uh, but doesn't really seem like a useful ability, although now that I think of it, oh, Jahira's half-elf, okay, I was going to say, oh, and Mira's half-elf too, and Khalid's half-elf, everybody's a half-elf, um, um, I don't think I have any, don't worry about me. um, non-human characters, but I guess I have quite a few half-elves. This is a weird construction. Oh, ouch. Construction for a mine. Just this, like, big chasm in the bottom of the world. What are you... Wait, what? What are you doing up so close? And I'm never going to need to buy arrows again. That's for fucking sure. For the fallen! Nope, nothing over there. Really it looks like it might be a way down. Ouch. Ow! That was like half of everyone's health points right there. That's Tell brutal. Me. Do one of these. Give it to me straight. What do you need? Yeah. I wish it gave me a value for the Don't healing. I mean, obviously, I can see that eight, you know, plus what four, plus twelve. But it's weird that they don't give you an actual value on that. Because I want to say the lay on hands ability is a dice roll too. It's not just a flat value, but I could be wrong about that. Warlock's Minor Giant, that's cool. Um, that's actually kind of a useful uh, low level spell. Oh, let's look at it after we kill these guys. It's also interesting that these uh, kobolds are just running around with like spell scrolls. That seems a little weird. Oops. All right. Uh, with this spell, the wizard drains the life force from a target and adds it to her own. Uh, the target creature suffers 4 damage while the mage gains 4 HP. If the mage goes over the maximum hit point total, she loses an extra hit point after one turn. That's weird. And it doesn't scale at all either, so it'll, it'll only be uh, useful in pretty early levels. And honestly, I mean, with Mira at 4 HP, uh, the chances of her um, getting damaged but not killed, I feel like it is pretty low. Oh, what are you? A ghoul. Oh, really not in this. Well, that's a little odd. Found some ghouls uh, hanging out around the mines, but oh, damn. that fear, I think? Oh, held. Okay. Can I help you? Thanks. Okay. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and rest one more time. Just to make sure everyone's healed up to full. You want it? You've got it. That was fun though, a ghoul. Probably got some decent X XP out of that. Not that I will show you that. Not really sure where I'm headed in this mine, but certainly there must be a place to go. Is that supposed to be lava, maybe? No! Yeah, kind of looks like lava. 
Also seems kind of uh, out of place here, but whatever. Ouch. What? Man, Emmeline must be just like really bad at detecting traps. What do you need? So far, she has detected zero out Don't of like me. you know six traps that we stepped on or something. Definitely have to boost her uh, trap detecting skills up once uh, we get there. What you want? Tell me. Go for the eyes, boo. Go, Go for the eyes, eyes. Run! I've got this. Do you though? You really, Catherine? Probably want to rest after clear this floor. Although if we've run into more ghouls, I might want to rest a little bit sooner than that. Can I help? Also, never really used the guard feature. I don't um, I'm exactly sure how that works. Don't worry about me. What do you need? Don't worry about me. Spider. You don't like that. Spiders poison usually. That's sort of, uh, worried because I don't have any antidotes. Apparently pretty uh, resistant though. Wait, who's attacking at a minus one? Oh, it is. Come here. Tell me. 270 experience though, that's that's not bad at all. You want it? You've got it. Just waiting patiently for Nira to finally get a level up. She's got to be so close at this point. Oh, there's a uh, chill touch. Ooh, that's a special one. Cobalt Commando. What do you need? Tell me. Nice. Chill Touch is the other one that's uh, Shocking Grasp, Chill Touch, Flaming Hands, and uh, I think it's something like Necromancer's Grasp or something like that. Uh, touch Range Wizard Spells. Not in combat anymore, game. Let me save. Um, my instincts tell me that there's possibly a large fight coming up, so I might want to heal what up do you need? first. And let Nira cast armor. It's rather unfortunately, it's her only spell. And it gives her as good de uh, armor class as nearly everyone else, so that's nice. Do it. Tell me. Don't worry about me. You rang? What are you doing? Okay, 524. You're almost at your next level. That's exciting. There we have other people pretty far away. Interesting that uh, Emily don't worry about me. Uh, gains level at such a quick rate. 
Although I suppose if you were playing a squishier main character, uh, you definitely want her um, to be able to level quicker than you could, uh, just to um, be a little bit more defensive. Dang, dang. Jesus. Wait, I strung I sprung a trap and then moved out quick enough. Okay. Lucky me, I guess. There's another spell of friends. What do you need? see if we can distribute some of these to our actual arrow using characters. This unknown small shield and an unknown wakasashi. Tell me, you want it? You've got it. Ouch. Give it to me straight. Oh shit. Oh what? You have a use of cure wounds? Huh. What do you need? That's cool. I've got this. Curious to see what's in, the, in here. Mark the location on that map. Don't worry about me. They also kind of want to explain, explore this area too. Yeah, we'll explore a little bit farther around. Oh, another ghoul. Yeah. stops over there. Okay, uh, let's see what's up this way. It's odd that there's traps in the mine, but I guess you could probably make the argument for the kobolds making them. That's, that makes enough sense. How much did I get for that? No command or uh, cobalt commander. Just seven. That's unfortunate. Seven experience is a mere pittance at this point. Take this absolutely fill a stroll around this uh, dot. Oh, what are you? A great ooze. Nice. Oh, 275. Okay. That's, I'll take that. Oh. Uh, so this takes me out of the mines. I'm gonna quick save first and see where entry. this goes. You must gather your party before venturing forth. I know I'm doing that. You want it? You oh. got it. Go, go, go. Yeah, I don't feel great about uh, fighting wild dogs either, but.
You fucking broke your weapon. What the fuck? Well, I didn't know you were losing bastard swords. Give it to me straight. You have need of me? What do you need? I've got this. Where do I come out? Interesting. Very interesting. Huh. I've got this. Well, okay. Um, you know, when I finish up my business in the mines, but it's interesting that you get just like a little shortcut out like that. Wait, what? Oh, you can't go back this way? Oh, balls. Okay, well. Right here. Huh, okay. So I guess we know not to go there until we go here. That's useful knowledge, and that would have prevented us from having to backtrack all the way through the mines, which would have been terrible, and annoying, and awful, and bad, in just about every way that you could think of. Do, 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 do. You must gather your party and before now, entering forth. 